For these different numbers, we want to rewrite them from standard to scientific or vice versa. So this number is in standard and we want to write it in scientific notation. So one quick way to look at this is to just see how many zeros we have and that will be our power in our scientific notation. So we need to say 4 times 10 to some power. So we have 4 times 10 and then again quickly that power is the number of zeros or the number of places after the first term and there are 6 of them. So we say 4 times 10 to the power of 6. This is the same idea, but now the decimal place is to the left, so we're going to talk about negative powers. And again, we want to talk about how many places we have to move the decimal to get to the first significant digit. So 5.5 represents this, and we need to see how many decimals we have to move over to get it to look like this. So in scientific notation, it's 5.5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But since we've moved to the right, we say negative 5. So it's 5.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Now we have a number that's in scientific notation, and we want to rewrite it in a standard form. So in that case, we're going to move this decimal to the right by 4 places. So we have 4, 0, 8. So we move the decimal place 1, 2 times. Now we have to have 2 more zeros. So this number becomes 40,800. This is another number that we want to write in scientific notation. The negative stays the same out front. And then we want to write the uh, significant digits. So we have 7, 3, and 2. So we write 7.32 times 10 to... Now what power do we have? How many do we move to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4 to get to the first significant digit. So negative 4. So it was negative again because we moved to the right. This negative, like up here, has nothing to do with the sign of the number. It's that we're moving to the right with the decimal place. So this is negative 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4.